Okay, guys, so now we're at that point that we've got a bit of an education session coming on. And what we actually have today is we've got Fred Gillen uh, from More Marketing Ideas. We're going to go through Google Assets, which is something probably a lot of us don't even know what they are. Well, he's going to go through them and tell us how they can benefit our business. Fred, all yours, mate. Thanks, Jay, and um, welcome, everyone. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you, as Jay just introduced, um, was Google Assets. Now, Google have a lot of free tools out there that some people are aware of uh, and some are not. But there's two tools that in particular that if you've got a website, in my opinion, are a requirement. They're not a necessity, they're a requirement. You, you actually need to have them. So it's not a, not a wish list. And that one of them is uh, Google Analytics. And what that does is it allows you to analyze your traffic because I'm a numbers guy. I always have been when I worked as a PM in the corporate world, it was all about the numbers and how you could deliver those uh, on budget, on time, and you know meet the, the requirements of the stakeholders. And it's the same for your business. Unless you know your numbers, you cannot change anything. And unless you change stuff, you're not going to grow. So Google, Google Analytics allows you to do that. And what it does, it actually captures where all your traffic is coming from. So if your traffic is coming from Facebook, and you're spending your time, and I'll, I'll do the opposite analysis, if you're doing a lot of advertising on Facebook and you're not getting any traffic from Facebook, then you're wasting your dollars. If you're spending money on Google ads and you're not getting any traffic from Google ads, uh, then again, you're wasting your dollars. So without knowing your numbers, it's pretty important that you install Google Analytics and it's a free service. So there's no cost. You just need to get your web developer to drop a little bit of code onto your website and then you can have Google Analytics running on your website. The other tool I want to talk about is Google Search Console. Now, not a lot of businesses owners are aware of that. Um, and again, it's a free tool. You just do a Google search or Google Search Console. You, if you've got a Gmail account, you just create that, uh, attach it again with a little bit of code, uh, attach it to your website. And what it does, it's another tool that allows you to look at what's happening and where the traffic is coming from. But more importantly, it allows you to index your new pages. So if you add content to your website, you can go into Google Search Console and you can hit re-index and it will pull that information and you're not waiting on Google to crawl your website to get that info. So it helps you get that. And, and these are all Google tools. So Google loves Google. The more you're using their tools, the more SEO juice, if you will, the more SEO juice you're going to get. So um, I'd encourage everybody, if you don't have those tools installed on your website, then, you know, go in, log in, create them. If you want any help, Dre is here, I'm here. If you've got a web developer that uh, you currently work with, they should have already told you about this stuff anyway. Um, if they haven't, um, you might want to look at whether they're looking at your business or they're really just looking at theirs. Because we work on the basis of looking at the outcomes for our the clients and the reason for that is it's mercenary because if we can get them business, then they're going to stay with us, right? If it's just a one-shop wonder and we build a website and they don't get any business, well, then we've got to do that every week and try and find new business rather than working with the business we currently own. The other tool, and I'll share my screen for this. Great for the radio. Come on. Okay, so I'm assuming yeah, you can see that because I'm up on the screen as well. Let me move that out of the way. Um, you can see down the right hand, the right hand side of the screen, um, you've got a community networking project, right? And it's taking up probably a third of the screen. So it's nice real estate when somebody searches for it. And all I did there was I searched for Google networking project. And because I'm local to where this business is located, it's actually displayed this knowledge bar up here on the right-hand side. And it tells people all about my business. So it tells them when I'm open, I'm open 24 hours a day. It's got my phone number. Um, I can obviously edit it because I'm logged into to Google. Um, but the one important thing that you want to look at, and I'll give you a, a real life and explanation of this in a moment, but is get more reviews. So when you create your Google My Business page, then you simply click on that. It will open up a box eventually. Come on, Sam. It should open up a box. And you just basically cut and paste that link and send it out to your clients and ask them to do a Google review. Right now, I just did that recently in our Facebook group. 
uh, because I just created this Google <coughs> My Business page last week and I'm starting to populate it now and get more get more reviews and then drive more traffic back to this group. Back, sorry, not back to this group, back to my group. Nearly fraudulent slip there. Anyway, so, so it's pretty important that you do that. Now, there are a few things, tricks that you can do with Google My Business. If you take photos with your iPhone, um, those photos are actually geotagged. So your iPhone knows where you are, when you took it, what time you took it, and, where, and the location. If you go around your local community and start taking photos and just post them on your Google My Business page, then that's going to drive more local business because Google wants to share topics and pictures of local interest to the community to keep them looking at their search patterns, right? So just a, a couple of tricks on that. Uh, obviously, if you post um, weekly, uh, a post on any topic, whether it's an event, whether it's a product you want to sell, and now you can put products up on Google My Business as well. So they're opening that up for a lot of avenues. You can promote your services. So it's a great free tool to help you grow your business. You just need to get a VA if you don't want to do it or, you know, have somebody like, as I said, me or Dre manage that uh, exercise for you and we're quite open to do that. So um, that's the three assets and they're all Google. They're all free and they'll help you grow your business. So that's me, Fred Gillen, more marketing ideas. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Fred.